Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Soul, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be me helping out you guys who are ne not necessarily in Thomas Damn tier, also not necessarily loaded on the how to tear up fast. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, there's obviously multiple ways of going about this. You've got team events, you've got PvP, and you've got the rewards to get PvP, which are super coins. And this is one thing I'd like to just share with you guys. If you guys don't know, then make sure you get to know I'm doing this properly, all right? So obviously you get PvP rewards for playing a week of PvP. I advise, I'm still going for it because I'm still playing, but I advise every single one of you guys who haven't done it yet, maybe not this week if you can't get it done in time, but next week for sure, is to go for 25k in PvP because 25k gets you the last momentum bar up here and it also gives you, as I mean, this is these are going to be my rewards because I'm 21 tier. Gives you a chance, obviously a 21 card, but obviously gives you a card, a chance of the card of your tier. It could be a pro, it could be a single. These packs are still good for any cards that are like a tier below you that you can potentially pro or whatever but the most important thing you guys get from this are super coins so obviously you get 25k and you're in like a gold league whatever you're most likely going to get first place which is then guarantee you what i think is 1800 super coins for gold so that is very very important make sure you guys definitely aim to try and get 25k points in pvp every week so another thing is with those super coins what you can do is convert them conveniently and really conveniently convert them into picks and what I mean by that is you convert them into picks like this. So obviously I'm going to show you guys. I always like taking bunches of 75 off the board because obviously it fills up this dustometer. I call it a dustometer. A lot of people call it the dust meter. I just like the word dustometer. Obviously let me know in the comments down below if you guys find that word rather catchy. But like I said, you've got the dustometer. And I, this is what I like doing my super coins. Anytime I get super coins, uh, unless I'm saving it for a new tier, but obviously we got, as we know, this tier is most likely going to be the last tier of the game until season eight comes out. But yeah, like I said, I like taking budget 74 off the board and just going about it. There's a lot of people who find this boring, but I really enjoy it because obviously the more resets you get, the quicker you're going to get your next tier pool. And the next tier pool could be a pro, it could be a single. It might not be anything at all. I'm just saying to you, you're going to the guarantee you get a tier pool at some point because you're going to try to trigger it because every tier, and when I say this, every tier, let it be plus or base or even plus plus, has a certain amount of resets you need to, for, it, for it to trigger a tier pool. Obviously, I know a bunch of you guys in the community count your resets. That's on you. I don't find it enjoy. There we go. We get a swarm biggie. I don't find it necessarily enjoyable counting resets purely because it gets rid of the anticipation for me. Because if I know I'm at 80 resets and I need another 40 for my next tier pool, I'm not going to get hyped if I get it exactly on the dot. Obviously, early tier pools, whatever, are cool. But getting tier pools, knowing, like, knowing that you're going to get a tier pool and then getting it, you're only going to get excited about who it's going to be and not the fact that you got a tier pool. I like not knowing when I'm going to get a tier pool, hence why I don't count my resets. And now I get hyped about A, me getting a tier pool, and B, me not knowing who the fuck it is until I see the card. So obviously this is good because we've already had, what, three, three, four resets just doing this? And we're still on 30 picks. Like we can, I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed another reset because I'm pretty sure the, the draft board has got 25 cards on it. So we're definitely guaranteed another reset right here. Whilst we just pick these cards off the board, like it, it's so good just doing this because obviously the more, like I said, the more resets you trigger, the quicker you guys are going to get tier pools. And I'll move on. There we go, another freaking reset. Let's go. I'm going to move on to the next explanation in a sec once we get the rest of these picks off the board. Right then, guys. This is also another thing you guys can do with your uh, with your picks once you pick them all off the board. It's select all and this should actually get me quite a decent amount of dust points for the dustometer. 2,800 is really good at 74 picks. We're going to dust all of those. Just put us up at 4,500, meaning we only need 1,500 for our next exclusive draft board uh, pick, which I'm going to show you guys what that is in a second. Right then, guys, I just got another 74 picks off the board, which has now got us an extra 2K dust points, which you can then use on the dust board, aka exclusive board, which is a board which has got 16 cards on it. And whether you get down to the last one or whatever, at the end of the day, you're guaranteed a card of your tier once you've worked it down, either a support or a superstar. So I'm just going to pick a random card. I got a 37. So at the end of the day, latest when we're down to the last card, and if it does plan out like that again, as it's done in the past, that the last card is my superstar or is the support, it's a guaranteed SS21 card. So at the end of the day, I can't complain. Obviously, it should be the same for you whether you're or SS21 or not. So this is also a good way of getting tier pools. And obviously, like I said, the more picks you get off the board, the better because you're triggering the reset counter. So the next way, after I've explained PvP, it's gonna be my good old friend, Team Battleground. What you, what this is, 
and I'd advise you, I'd probably say 37 tier and upwards now, because obviously there's SS21 tier in the game now. If you're in 37 tier and forge tier, definitely try and find yourself an active team that definitely grinds the fudge, and I mean the fudge, out of team battlegrounds, because team battlegrounds are super, super lucrative for you guys. Yes, okay, you're not guaranteed. Honestly, you're not guaranteed a card of your tier from those rewards, but the likelihood of you getting them is still there. Like, it's not like you can't get them at all. So I've just claimed the free pack there whilst I was saying that, which is also a good way of getting cards. Obviously, you guys saw I got 36 to get a way of getting free credits as well. So yeah, TBG, as long as you win them, your rewards can be quite lucrative in a sense with these. I mean, this is what I get. I get a chance of a SummerSlam card. I get a guaranteed forge at the end of the day, whether it be male or female. This is also a way of you guys Potentially getting the higher females. So yeah, definitely use this as a trick in the book of obviously being able to tear up fast. Then the last one I'm going to show you guys in this video is going to be King of the Ring. Now, King of the Ring in SS21 tier right now is super, super hard to win. I was actually in the finals of one last night, but I obviously went to sleep. And then when I woke up this morning, I'd lost because I didn't energize. I lost 3-2. 3-2. Much off. So angry. Anyhow, the rewards for me if I win... A guaranteed SummerSlam card, guaranteed Forged, guaranteed some, uh, 37 card and 25 picks, which is super, super good. And then obviously second place gives me a guaranteed Forged and a, th and a 37 card and so on from there. Obviously, if you get kicked out in the first couple of rounds, you can get picks, uh, picks to take off the board, which is also, and again, which is what I'm saying, an awesome way of tearing up fast. So with this being said, I hope I've been able to help you guys out on three ways of turning up really really easily in wwe supercard if you guys have liked this video please show the like button subscribe if you're already like i said road to 700 subs i'll see you guys on my next video peace